Now on this trip, it was the summer of 2022, and we headed up to Mammoth, California to test out the WJ on the Laurel Lakes Loop. Morning. It's about uh, 7.30 in the morning and we're getting ready to go up to Laurel Lake from down here in Mammoth. And I kind of did a little bit of it yesterday and it was pretty bouldery so it should be a good ride so uh, it'll be fun to see how the WJ does up there. I mean it is so damn nice up here this time of morning. You can just feel the creek, the sun's just dancing through the trees. I hear the side-by-side -side firing up, so that must mean Pat wants to go. Okay, the buggy's all lit up, ready to go. Oh, there's a Kaylee spotting and a Nikki spotting. Early in the morning, you get inside the Jeep. Laurel Lakes. The Laurel Lakes OHV route is just off of Sherwin Creek Road in Mammoth Lakes, California, and it's generally considered a challenging route. This trail is great for camping, mountain biking, and off-roading. It generally gets pretty busy on the weekends, so you probably want to do it during the week. Now in the first half of this trail, there's plenty of places to pull over to let cars pass. But as you climb an elevation, there's less chances to do that. The road is very steep and a lot of loose rocks. There's always a pretty good view looking up the valley, so you can kind of see who's coming down the mountain. That way you can plan out your strategy when they get close to you. Coming in hot. Woo! We're definitely on a goat trail. Nice, Alpine air up here. That's great. Two cameras going at the same time. <laughs> That's my kind of day. As you get about halfway up, you really start to notice the beauty of this valley. There's even a little creek that runs all the way from the top down to the Sherwin Creek campground. What do you do when you're in the blueberry? Do we not call you dingleberry? Yeah, you can't use our dingleberry handle when we're in the blueberry. Copy that. Blueberry. Dingleberry over now. No, oh, you. Just use the dingleberry handle. Are you blueberry or dingleberry? I need blueberry. Got it. Now we did this trail on a Monday, and as we come down this road, down to the bottom of the lake, we're starting to realize we got the whole lake to ourselves. There's a little island almost out there in the middle. It's kind of like a golf green that you can just hang out on. And usually when it's busy, you'll never get that spot. You got a beer from the Rockies? Kind of feels like we're in the Rockies, doesn't it? <laughs> Those look rocky. <laughs> Ready to head back? Nope. Pack it up? Nope. 
front myself an institution ale beer for this moment. Wow. <laughs> Pull it. Oh. So now, after Laurel Lake, which was amazing. It's always really cool to have a few points of interest. So our next stop is gonna be Hot Creek Geological Site. Now here's the basic route that we took. We started at Sherwin Creek Campground and took Sherwin Creek Road all the way over into 395. Then there's a mountain range right here and if you follow the maps they'll take you all the way through these mountains and you'll poke out the other side to these high plains. Then there's just a few fire roads that'll get you over to the hot springs. Pretty much like Yellowstone right here. It's right here in Mammoth. And I think the creek's like 89 degrees or something. It says here, let's see what this says. It says, uh, keep out scalding water, but I want to touch the water. <laughs> I think it's a hot tub time machine. <laughs> What is it, Dr. Evil? Gentlemen, welcome to my geological lair. The way it works is the groundwater will be heated by liquid hot magma. Number two, release the ill-tempered sea bass. The Hot Creek Geological Site is definitely a cool place to check out, especially if you're camped over at Sherman Creek. It's just a short drive over there to check it out. Now this year we got tons of snow and tons of rain and we're planning to head back up there in a few weeks and take you guys along for the ride. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.